money. We don't have no money to buy anything. Just because I'm living in the States, you shouldn't, you shouldn't think, oh, it's a girl. Oh, she's happy. We're not happening. <laughs> there are jobs like dog sitting. You can babysit kids. You can drive on an F1 visa. Hello again. So if you've not yet watched our first video, you should go do so because that one is very educative. It's going to teach you guys a lot about living in the States and some of our experiences, okay? We talked about doing part two and here it is. Okay, that's part four, part two. <laughs> and here it is, okay? Living in the States on an F1 visa, okay? It's different to live in the States as in you're adopted, um, you came here for a job, a job opportunity or something like that, okay? It's, but it's different when you're living on a visa. F1 visa basically means, you know, I'm a student, I'm going to college, I'm going to high school, whatever. It's very different. So we're going to tell you our experiences. Before I came to the States, I didn't really know what it even meant to be an F1 visa student. And I didn't even know what it meant to live on a visa. Living on an F1 visa is very, very challenging. Mm -hmm. It's not fun. It's not a fun position to be in. If you want to come to the States and you want to come on an F1 visa, um be prepared for the challenges to come if you don't have a host family that's like loving you know that wants the best for you um that's not you know helping you with expenses you're going to suffer you're, you're literally going to suffer struggle is real. a lot yeah. one thing is we haven't had like a real real job yep say so the job like the first time we had was babysitting okay mm -hmm. babysitting mm -hmm. and they pay you like eight dollar an hour seven dollar an hour by that time we were like young so people would do like give us anything yeah because we weren't and, like oh my gosh we're experienced now i know so w people would just give us anything when we babysit we're like we don't care how much they give, give us, us. <laughs> just give us money because we needed money I mean, we were not required to get any jobs. Let me just say something along that path. When we came to the States, we were underage, okay? And so when we were back home, you know the Zambian culture, how your parents literally do, do everything, everything for you. until you're done with college. They do everything for you. And that's almost your fault because, well, you're so used to your parents, you know, they buy you clothes, they buy you even underwear, they buy you stuff like that. They buy you everything you need. Your parents are taking care of you. In the states your parents can pay for the biggest expenses but some of the expenses you have to do for yourself mm -hmm. so most kids when you're 16 17 they're working at and you know america is a developed country so there are more job opportunities than we have in zambia right. jobs where you should be you know working in the store um you know doing restaurant. anything in the store restaurant those are for people who are in in college or they're in high school high school those are jobs like for such 10 years people. old yes and so if you're older you should be working in, in, at a school, in a company, or whatever, stuff like that. Unless you are very poor, then you work there. Or maybe you want a very flexible job and right. you don't want to, you know, you want to spend time with your grandkids or you want to do something. Then you work at a restaurant or a really easy store. And so there are a lot of job opportunities for citizens. And therefore, your parents expect you to have your own allowance. You know, you have your own money to buy your own stuff, do stuff like that. We, we are not citizens. But in our situation... We're not citizens. Mm -mm. We cannot. One thing you should know: if you're living on an F1 visa, you cannot work for a company. You can't work at a restaurant. You can't work at a store. You can't work anywhere. You you basically cannot work anywhere. Okay, if you work at a restaurant, it has to be in secret. The the person who employs you has to pay you out of pocket. They can't write it down and say I paid this person because then you're gonna get in trouble with the government. And so finding jobs is really, really hard. You have to mop for people, you have to babysit, you have to work at a bookstore, clean houses, do all sorts, of, you're doing everything. Everything, you everything, can. everything. So if you're very picky and like, you know, you're bougie, you're like, oh, I don't wanna do none of that stuff. Oh, okay, well, good luck living life, okay? If your parents are rich or you come from a rich family, then okay, they're gonna do everything for you. Right. Okay. Some of us don't. Some of us don't, don't have. Some of us don't have such families. Okay. We don't they have, have money. They have they money, have but they money they don't have us. money to be. Oh, go do this. Go do, no, right. but they're not gonna do that. Okay. They're not gonna do that. 
even if our families do have money or whichever fam whichever side of our family has money they're not they're not gonna do that they're not like that okay when you are living on an f1 visa and you want jobs it's gonna be very hard for you yeah also like we didn't even have a social security numbers yeah which is oh, very important you because you can't get a job without those right. even on campus right you can't get a job without the social security number right so it was like challenging mm -hmm. you had to get it right and if you also lose that yeah you gotta you almost you have to go back and get another one so a social security card or number is basically something that allows you to work yeah you know so if you don't have that like she said you're not gonna work anywhere okay because you have to have some type of proof or some type of whatever so they can be able to pay you and stuff like that right but if you don't have that you're not gonna work you're not gonna get paid so you can work 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 but they're not gonna give you the money until you have your social security number mm -hmm. and so that's also something to look forward to make sure you have your social security number make sure you're reaching out to people there are jobs like dog sitting you can babysit kids you can mow for people you can clean houses it's just there's a couple opportunities but they just don't pay you as they don't pay well okay they don't pay well to the point where you can live a very luxurious life challenge number two is driving okay first of all finding a car or buying a car or cars in general are very expensive you can't drive on an f1 visa the possibilities are out there you can drive mm -hmm. you just have to have everything that you need and all that stuff and take the you know the test as as everybody does and then if you pass you pass if you don't pass you take it again mm -hmm. um so yeah so right now both of us we can drive and so when we're able to drive it's easier for us to move around and do the, all that stuff right but when you don't have a car oof, you gotta be begging people <laughs> you gotta be begging people and all that stuff so yeah cars they're expensive i mean you can buy a very cheap car but it's gonna yeah. die in like oh. two to three months mm -hmm. so it's either you invest in something that's gonna last a long time mm -hmm. or buy something that you're gonna use in the meantime but it's gonna die soon for us we don't even have money to buy a car we don't hold we're telling jobs. you we don't have no money we don't have no money to buy anything okay so this is why i tell people just because i'm living in the states you don't you shouldn't think oh the girl oh she's happening we're not happening <laughs> we're not happening there's no such thing as happening we're not happening I'm, we just got lucky you I'm know leaving. God. <laughs> i'm not happy <laughs> we just got lucky god you know brought us here for a reason and we're very very thankful to be here and we're very grateful to the family that's been helping us but we're not rich we're not rich kids we're not bougie we can't come here acting like oh we got, I mean, we got yeah. stuff. No, we we have the opportunity to be here. Yeah, that's a blessing. Exactly. However, the blessing we have, it does not mean we have money. Yeah. No. When you think like, oh, they live in America. Oh, whatever. Bring me sweets. Bring me iPhone. Bring me yeah. iPhone. Bring you Got yourself. Bring me work. iPhone. Who's going to bring you iPhone? <laughs> so just be aware when you're asking somebody because they did not come here to like correct money we nice. did not come here to pick up the bags of money no. this is not this is america of the land of the free where there's opportunities but not where you grab grab money grab grab mm -mm. no we don't pick money from trees we don't have money and trust me that's it's not even a shame me i'm me i'm not even ashamed of anything no. i cannot come here and pretend oh we are, we pray to god we're living life things are happening things are not happening we can't come here and pretend the things we have, you know. Oh, we're living such a luxurious. No, we cannot pretend. The life that I live is how it is. Nothing about it is fake, literally, you know. And so it's a lot of when you have something, it's you you paid for it, you worked hard for it, or somebody else is helping you. Mm -hmm. It's not like when you have something, you're so rich. And that's the situation for a lot of people that are here. Right. Not even kidding. A lot of people who are students in America. They're on F1 visas, they have iPhone yaddy yaddy, they have MacBook Airs, they have whatever. That's the situation that they're they're in. That's this literally. You buy things, 
because maybe your the other it's the situation maybe your other you know computer or your other phone was acting up so you're forced to buy you sacrifice but it's not like you're rich or anything because you know if you don't have a, a proper working phone you're not gonna be able to talk to your family mm -hmm. if you don't have a proper working working computer right. a lot of things here are for, you know you're typing you're doing all this stuff on the computer so you, you're gonna suffer mm -hmm. so you're almost forced to save up your money and you know pay for things or do certain things you know but obviously your family is paying for the the expense the huge expenses but you have to be responsible enough to do to pay for other things and that's where it comes in with the expenses living in america is expensive it's not cheap it's at not all cheap. it's not cheap it's not cheap oh. so if i tell you i don't have money because not i helped cheap, oh. you last time i gave you 50 bucks last time and then you come back for me and say help me again and i say i don't have money and you you keep you think in your head oh last time you helped me now you don't have money you're lying i'm not lying money comes and goes money there's no money that just comes and stays for eternity money comes and i goes. think if you're not my family back home you don't understand that much because my family understands i do not come here to collect money right they know how expensive things are here so they know i'm here for school mm -hmm. not, i'm not, not here to, pay, to pay money if i have money i'm gonna keep it right. you know like I'm gonna think about my family. I they don't need my money, but however, I have to be generous enough. Like oh, I have a small amount of money. Right. I can keep it instead of using it for something else. Even though I can use it for many things, mm -hmm. I'm like oh, I think about my mom. I mm -hmm. think about my sisters, my nieces. What can I do for them mm -hmm. to just show appreciation? Even though I don't have enough money, I just keep it. To just give it to them it doesn't mean i have much money and if i gave you hmm. 20 quarter that's nothing compared to like, if i give you money you come for me again ah. it's not because i have so much and when it comes to clothes please <laughs> i also suffer <laughs> clothes i buy i suffer <laughs> because I, people demolish my clothes when they say you take away from something I bought. Yeah. It's good to ask, but some, don't expect someone to just give you everything you ask for. And if they don't give you all, oh, quest them off back America. Like a lot of people enjoy the pretense more than just being real. Mm -hmm. If I come to you, I'm looking ugly, I'm looking ragged, then that is me. That's the life. That's how I've been. So how, how do I pretend? Of course, the, we've talked about expenses here. I'm not going to have Gucci. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna have Gucci. I'm not gonna have anything expensive. I'm gonna buy things that I can manage. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna buy things so I can please you, so I can show off to you. I'm gonna buy things that I enjoy, that I like, that will look good on me, and that I that are on my budget list. You know what I'm saying? We're not gonna go overboard and buy things to just make people happy. No, right. no. But yeah, living in the states is definitely expensive. It's, it's not very expensive. Yeah. So it's like whenever you see somebody living in the US, don't think it's an easy life. It's a good opportunity. It's I very, wouldn't very lie. Good. Very good. Better than the, any other. I mean, many people want to come here. Yeah. Because it has so many jobs. However, it's very expensive. You have to think about expenses. Because the expenses I'll be paying here, there'll be less there in Zambia. Mm -hmm. So think about it before you decide doing stuff, getting all oh, this into this and this. Right. Or oh, like talk about money. Yeah. We don't come here for to collect money, especially students. Yeah, no, we don't. Honestly, we don't. Mm -mm. We're here so, for please. school. We have better lives. We can help you guys and right. help anybody who's in need. But for now, please. if I help you, just know it's from something. If I'm, if I I'm helping you, like, it's from the heart, bottom of my heart. Right. Other than that, and that, that means I had something to right. help someone. If I don't have, I say I don't have. <laughs> Believe me, I don't have. <laughs> Don't say, oh, she's hiding, mutani, whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you give them Constantly. once, you keep giving Constantly. them. Constantly, like, please. You have finished us. You have when I come, prepare us. me something too. Please. Winnie, when are you coming? Will you find this? When are you coming? you find money for you. Do something like that. Not always. When are you, when you, when are you coming? Bring me chocolate. You don't have chocolate in Zambia. Yeah, guys, we're gonna end the video right there. Okay. Right. All right. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos. Okay. 
um we'll see you guys in our next video bye